Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Scorpio? Hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of September 2021 in regards to love and romance. All right, let's get into it. Whoa, okay. Your first card here is the Prince of Wands with the Nine of Wands. The Six of Wands, the Empress card, and the Judgment. Wow. Okay. Partners cards, Three of Swords, the Death card, Two of Cups, Queen of Cups, and the World card. Wow. You guys have very, very powerful. <laughs> I was going to put it down this way and it <laughs> happened to put it upside up. So I'm going to take this as general energy. So we have the Four of Cups. Sorry if they keep opening the door. Um, we have the Four of Cups here. So this is specifically talking about feeling like there was a missed opportunity. Now I'm hearing very strongly for a lot of you guys, this has to do with someone from your past. It could be a situation where they felt like based on their decisions, there was a correlation of events that led to where you guys are at now, where there is a feeling of regret here on their part, okay? Now, your cards here with the Knight of Wands and the Nine of Wands, um, there is definitely a feeling of quick movement, progress. Uh, this is you moving on from a situation where you felt like you were stuck or like it became a little bit too much of a burden for you. Uh, nine of wands is getting to the point of realizing, you know, I'm ready to just, you know, be done with it. But because we do have the six of wands here, there is ego and pride involved in this situation. Now with the Empress card, I feel that you are coming from a loving standpoint, Scorpio, um, but you've already made your decision. And I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a breakup, some type of separation. Um, or some type of situation where you guys are no longer dealing or communicating with your partners. Um, and it's based on a decision. I feel that that decision had a lot to do uh, with you making that decision. Now, it could be vice versa because it is a general reading, but just from your cards here, I feel that you got to a point where you've realized that you put a lot of effort, a lot of energy, and you weren't being reciprocated the same energy. So you decided to take movement or make movement, pulling your energy or pulling yourself away from the situation. With the Empress card, this is a very beautiful card because this is indicating self-love. This is you walking away or making the decision to walk away out of self-love, out of taking care of yourself, your sanity, your peace. But this is also knowing your worth and knowing that you deserve to be reciprocated or that you deserve to be loved the same way you give love. Now, the way the partner is viewing the situation, we have the Three of Swords with the Death card. There is definitely some type of betrayal, some type of hurt, um, some type of ending that recently occurred with the Two of Cups. There was a, it, it's almost like they came to the realization that they care or that they do love you, but it only came, that realization only came only after you kind of had to force yourself to put yourself first. So it's almost kind of the situation where you're dealing with a relationship where you feel like you are always ending up with the shorter end of the stick. Um, you get to the point of saying, you know what, enough is enough. I'm no longer going to be putting up with this nonsense. No longer settling for, you know, temporary time or not settling for anything less than what you're putting or willing to put in the relationship. So it's almost like, they realized your worth only after you stood your ground. They realized that you do deserve what you were asking for, whether it was time, whether it was dedication, whether it was effort. Um, and it's them realizing that only after they've lost you or only after they felt like there was some type of uh, walking away or some type of ending of this connection. For some of you guys, a third party situation could have been involved. This could have been you 
or it could have been your partner, the one that stepped out of the relationship. But there is definitely a realization here of, you know, I messed up. I should have treated Scorpio better. I should have put more effort. I should have been more patient, whatever the situation was. Um, and they only realized their love for you based on them seeing that you weren't going to be like the rest, that you weren't going to put up with shit that perhaps in the past they were used to uh, other people dealing with that. Now they are speaking here about, again, Queen of Cups. This is your energy. This is them realizing Scorpio is a worthy person. Scorpio is a loyal person. Scorpio is the type of person that is worth it. Why? Because they're not putting up with my shit. They're not putting up with things that other people would put up with. And they're calling me out on my BS. And I have no other choice than to step up. Unfortunately, it could have came, that realization could have came only after there was a separation or a breakup. And we do have the world card here. So the decision is made to end something, to end a cycle, to end this relationship. Or for some of you guys, you're still dealing with the situation. But in September, there's a culmination. There is an understanding of I deserve to be treated better. I deserve to be given the same effort and energy that I'm putting into a relationship. And this is you becoming much more stronger, Scorpio. This is you realizing your what you truly deserve, what you truly, truly deserve. And again, I feel very strongly the person that you're dealing with. I feel that energy like, oh my God, I really did love Scorpio. Why did I F it up? Why do I always F it up? That's what I'm hearing. So you could be dealing with the person that perhaps perhaps had commitment issues. Um, you could be dealing with the person that half asses things and you were the ones to challenge them. You were the ones to challenge their belief system or what they've known or how they've acted up until now. But whatever the situation is in the month, in the end of this month of September going into October, I see you guys much more empowered, more confident, strong, walking with power and purpose. And I see them being in regret. I see them desiring to go back to a time where they had you or where you were willing to be open and give them an, another opportunity. Because we do have the world card here, there's an eleva elevation. And this is them realizing that you've elevated the game or that you've pushed them uh, to a limit that perhaps they never dealt with in the past, which I feel that that's what's drawing them. That's what's making them even a little bit obsessive, um, only because they're in, in, in some way there's a feeling of rejection here. Um, my advice is this person, you know, even though there is an ending or some type of separation, this person is not wanting to let go because I feel the death card is in reverse energy. So this is talking about them not wanting to accept or not wanting to deal with the fact that there's an ending. So you may be hearing back from them, but again, I urge you and I ask you to really analyze before jumping or giving each other another opportunity. Ask yourself, is this something that only because I am unattainable, is it that they that sparked their interest? Because if it is, that's a toxic trait. That's something that they need to work out. Um, only when they become more obsessive, only when there is, you know, a feeling of not being able to attain you anymore. Uh, and that's not, you know, that's not real because when you break it down and when it comes down to the nitty gritty, if you really think about it, every time you're willing to give each other the time and the effort, they're going to be losing interest. Why? Because you're no longer a challenge. So I wish you guys the very best. I hope this gives you some type of insight, some type of guidance, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.